March 4, 2001 for Tuesday. This stock came in in the morning with fits. So it's a Prisa, female, 9 years old. Very good condition, I would say. According to the owner, I treated her some years ago for skin disease and she has never fallen sick. Now, my intern, Vanessa Lin, Lian, Vanessa Lian is quite artistic as you can see. Her drawing of this uh, life cycle of the ticks, the BCOCs, it seems to be quite realistic as far as this dog is concerned. It looks quite like, but does it look like this dog? No. Now, the ticks beat this dog. Apparently, the neighbor has a lot of dogs and the ticks must have been infected by those stray dogs housed in the na with the neighbor. So this is how this Prisa got infected with babesiosis. This morning, the blood smear was taken and confirmed that she had babesiosis. You can see the normal liver cell is rounded whereas the ones infected with Babesia gypsonii have spikes it's called echinocytes ECH is echinocytes and uh, in just this blood smear you can see majority of the liver cells have spikes which means they are infected apparently the platelet count is low as well the dog was very pale this morning and uh, and the blood test will, will show that uh, there's anemia and low bladder count. Now this is quite a gentle dog as you can see and uh, hello and it doesn't bite people although you'll be frightened of him when you see, his, see her size. Yeah. Now I will just open up the, the lips again to see, to see, you can see that the slightly pale still, the gums, but not as white as this morning when she came. Hello, you can see this is quite a gentle dog, you can check the the subconjunctiva and let's see he doesn't mind this side as well you can see the gums still pale but uh, it's to be expected since you can see the majority of the cells are actually infected. Red blood cells are infected with this babesiosis. It's a surprise that this dog is still alive. Uh, injections of imitox has been given. I will be given another one. I will give another one tomorrow. Now it's about 6 p.m. The owner will bring her home. And the feeds are controlled by Dizipan with animals. March 4, 2014, Topayo Vets, Babesiosis in a Prisa, female 9 years old. due to exposure to stray dogs or dogs kept by the neighbour apparently the neighbour keeps quite a fair number of uh, rehome dogs and uh, there will be quite, some, quite many ticks around crossing over to his house as this uh, Prisa has never been on spot on treatment for the last nine years since she, she seldom or if ever goes outdoors has such big dogs are uh, seldom allowed to be 
taken outdoors due to ABA rules and regulations. And I mean, you could be frightened. People can get frightened by such big breeds weighing about 45 kgs. Now she's resting, waiting for her owner to come. March 42014, Topaya Vets, Singapore.